Today I have an inside the dressing room slash haul for you. It is the day after I went shopping. So I am checking out the Nordstrom sale. We have a couple days left. So I am going to cut and flash back to yesterday. Ooh, so you can see what I tried on in the dressing room and then stay tuned to see what I bought. Ooh. Okay, back in the fitting room for the Nordstrom sale. Um, wanted to do a quick OOTD to show you guys what I am wearing. I am wearing these new jeans I got from Fashion Nova. Oh, it's a little dark. I hope that works for you guys. Um, so they are just a little pair of jeans I got from Fashion Nova. They're just a normal, like, skinny. And then this kind of drapey kimono style top from ASOS. And then my shoes are from Target. They are um, last year, so they may be a little old. Um, my necklace is from Tiffany's and my bralette is pink and from Lane Bright. <laughs> so I have a bunch of stuff. I tried to limit myself to mostly sale items um, and I'm going to be splitting this up into two different dressing rooms because this is kind of the contemporary and then juniors is upstairs which i'm definitely going to go check out too so i am going to jump right into it okay look one um little different for me so these jeans are from the brand sanctuary i sized up to a 22 i'm really glad i did even though they are a little big in the waist they do fit really nicely and i haven't really found a pair of like snakeskin bottoms that I like and I really like these. I think these are really cute. I like where they hit on the ankle. I think it's look, look really cute with like a little pair of heels or something. These are adorable and I paired it with this black t-shirt and I do apologize for being so basic and doing a basic black long sleeve tee but this truth be told is a big part of my wardrobe so I definitely wear them a ton. This one is really nice. I think it's from the brand Castlin. No, Chelsea 28. This is a double XL. I feel like I could size down. It is sheer, as you can see, so we're with like a bralette underneath or something. But this, I think, is just a really nice classic fall outfit. I think I might get these jeans. These are kind of amazing. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so just a little layering piece I threw on. This jacket is also from Sanctuary. It's a size 1X. And um, it's a really nice a lightweight layering piece for people who live in warmer climates. This is kind of your winter jacket. But if you are living in a colder climate and fall is around the corner, you're like a month away, this could be a really nice option. I also really like that the sleeves are shorter than the sleeves of my shirt because I do like the like differentiation in length in the arms. I think that's really nice as well. So this is really cute. I don't know if I'm going to get it because it feels a little warmer than I need. Um, and I have a million jackets, but I did want to try it on because I think the color is really nice. And I like when you see a black and white outfit that you throw on like a pop of blue or something to kind of give it a little more life. Okay, keeping the black long sleeve shirt on, I'm going to try on a couple of bottoms. Um, so this first bottom I am trying on is a maxi skirt from the brand Castlin in a 2X. Um, I like how this looks. I think if you're someone who likes to wear a maxi dress or a maxi skirt year round, this is a really nice fall appropriate maxi skirt, but it's a very casual fabric. It's nice and floaty and just really easy kind of feels like sweat panty so it's really really nice and comfortable and i like how long it is so i am five foot six and we get full toe coverage so a plus plus well i think i'm going to pass i do really like this and i'm falling more and more in love with this t-shirt oh, so good to my absolute delight they carry rachel roy here i was really excited to see a brand that i know and love so i grabbed this little skirt in a size 16. this is so precious if you're someone who really likes feminine style like this is just the perfect little fall outfit so the cool thing it has slits in it but they're like just a teeny bit of slit that just gives you some movement and allows you to kind of get movement like when you walk it looks really cute it has pockets this is a self-tie doesn't really do anything there are buttons and then there's an elastic in the waist so you have a lot of space this is just a really great one i think you could wear this with this black shirt and like picture black opaque tights and like how gorgeous that would be 
I love, I love, I love. So this is really, really adorable and exceptionally flattering and just really easy to wear. Like imagine this with some nice black heels for Thanksgiving. Good to go. So I grabbed these Vince Camuto pants in a size 20 and the fit is fantastic. They are so comfortable. They're so spacious. Like they're amazing. Um, and for a pair of white pants, they are really really flattering i really love these you know for babes that are like corporate babes or babes that just want like a fresh look i mean again black top white pants super classic super great um i'm shocked at how nice these fit me like there's barely any extra space in the waist like so great and then i will try and show you the back because we all know white pants can be problematic so see that tush doesn't look too bad Let's snap it here. Maybe do this way. This way? This way? I don't know if this is working, but the tush looks kind of cute. And even so they're white, so you do get like a little bit of see-through, but it's not, it's like not the end of the world, which I'm kind of super excited about, honestly. So you may be noticing at this point in this video that everything is very like solid color or dark, so they have a lot of fall stuff out right now. But also, this is just par for the course when you're shopping plus size in store, is that things are going to be solid colors, they're going to be simpler, they're going to be maybe a little less fun. So I would say with stuff like this, hit it up for your basics. Like, find a good t-shirt that you like, find a good basic pair of pants that you like, save the money in the sale. I don't think actually anything so far except for this t-shirt that I've grabbed has been in the Nordstrom sale, so that's a little concerning. But, um, yeah, I just wanna point it out because I think a lot of you guys are gonna be like, none of this is your style. And largely, you are correct, but there are some basics and really good pieces that I can pick up for fall, like this t-shirt and even like these pants that I would definitely absolutely wear into fall and get like a really good like wear out of them. So I just wanted to address that when you're shopping in store, especially at like a department store, you're gonna get stuff that is like not super exciting, <laughs> but sometimes you're gonna find some really great basics. Okay, I put these snakeskin pants back on so you can see some fun options. Um, I grabbed this gray tank just to um, have something underneath this cardigan, basically. But I grabbed this oat kind of colored cardigan. I really like a long length cardigan. This is just like, okay, imagine it's raining and or it's snowing and it's chilly and you have a cup of tea and your favorite book or movie and you're just like putting this on and like just just doing this whole bit where you're like snuggly and stuff like this is this is kind of like the full vibes right you guys like um okay so from a practical styling perspective these pants the white in these pants is actually a warm ivory and not stark white so just to compare this tank top is a stark white so you see if i would have put this on underneath how it would have just not worked at all not that the gray works much better i would go with black i think actually if i were to wear this outfit but so I wanted to show the difference so you can see the warm tones in the snakeskin. And so when you're looking at that, evaluate the type of white in your print and then look and pull out all the colors. Okay, so we have like a cream-based white, we have black, we have kind of gray tones um, and warmer gray. So this is a cool gray, that's why the shirt doesn't work. But the oat cardigan works really nicely because it kicks up the warm white tones in the pants so just a little styling note for you guys so anyway this is a really nice cardigan and i am gonna have a hard time i have to remind myself that it's 117 out and so i have no need for this right now but um she's real cute by the way if you do like this cardigan it is halogen it's a cashmere blend and it's a size large -ish large and it is 250 dollars so you gotta really you gotta really want a cashmere cardigan. Next up, I grabbed this little crop sweater from Madewell. This is a size extra large. Um, I'm sure you guys are as relieved as I am to see something a little more my style. So this is very cute. Um, it's a little short in the back and I'm wearing like exceptionally waisted jeans. So I think it doesn't accommodate for the hips, but I do really, really like the style, the shape, and I do like the fit in the front. I'm just not crazy about the fit in the back. So I think that would be like the thing that would stop me from getting it, but it is really cute and definitely very Madewell-y. Okay, another top from Madewell, same but different. Um, and I really just do not like this one at all. Um, I like the fabric though, cause it's kind of this like sweatery, kind of carpety material kind of, um, but I just like, no, nope, nope. 
dope. One of the best things about fall and winter is cashmere. Um, and cashmere tends to be pretty, pretty pricey. So when companies like Nordstrom have a sale like this, it's really a good time to stock up on a good basic cashmere sweater. So this is their in-house brand, um, I think, or is it halogen? No, it's halogen. Um, it's 100% cashmere. This is a size extra large. I also grabbed a 2X in a black just because they wanted to see if I wanted like a slimmer fit or a more oversized fit. Um, I just love a good classic cashmere sweater cardigan. In the wintertime, it just looks so luxurious and expensive because it is. Um, <laughs> so this is just a nice little winter basic. I kind of really like how the fit of this is. The extra large looks real nice and fits real snug, but not too snug. And I like that it has a little bit of this detail here, so I get a little more hip space. So quite cute. Okay, and here is the 2X to show you. I did um, bump up the exposure on the camera so you guys can actually see what it looks like because it is pretty dark. Um, so it's me and I like... <laughs> I like kind of a bigger oversized sweater and I think this one is a little more comfortable. I can even do like a little off the shoulder bit with it. Um, I like that it's obviously because it's bigger, it has a deeper V, it's a little loose. I think a 1X would have actually been perfect, but this is a really good one. So these are normally a hundred bucks and they are on sale for 65, not bad. Okay, I picked this up fully expecting it to to not even come close to fitting because it's a 1X um, and it does. So that's exciting, I suppose. Um, it has pockets, it's a Rachel Roy, it's really cute. Um, I think it's just maybe a little too house robey for me. I hope it's not a house robe, I think it's an actual dress. I just think it's a little too house robey for me and it's a little too vintage inspired for my personal taste, but it is a really lovely little dress. So if you like it, we'll try and find it and link it below. So yeah, real cute. And I'm a 1X and I wear a 20 bottom. So we got lots of space, people, lots of space, even lots of good arm space here too. Real cute little dress. Just not the right aesthetic for me. This is a good one. Um, okay, come through Rachel Roy again every time, almost every single time. Um, black bodycon with a ruffle and a sleeve. Like what more, what more do you want? What more do you want? Body looks banging, obviously no shapewear, waist is looking snatched, everything is looking good and right and tight and where it's supposed to be. Um, really very happy with this one. Again, not sure if I'm gonna buy it, I have a million little black dresses. But like, why not a million and one, you know? You know? I don't know. Um, I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this. I think this is like really, really, really smoking. Um, oof, might have to take this home. Okay, dressing room one is done. I picked out a couple things. Let's head upstairs and see what we can find in BP. And if we have time, let's see if we can hit up the accessories too. Okay guys, I'm up in BP. Didn't find a ton. To be fair, the sale is almost over. So again, I just grabbed some bodysuits, some basics, um, and a couple of Adidas things. So it's gonna be a short segment up here. I'm trying to save some time to go now to accessories, but I'm gonna start off with this tube top, which I am wearing to prove a point to one of my best friends who saw this yesterday and said to me that is not a shirt that is a tube sock and I would like to say that it is a shirt so I want to know what you guys think shirt sock what do you think like if I had some cycling shorts on I'm basically a Kardashian at this point it's a top it's a shirt shirt or top tell me down below okay next I'm trying on this champion bralette I was thinking I could put it on underneath the black long sleeve t-shirt that I tried on. Um, and it's actually it's a size large and I'm trying to position myself so you guys can see the back. So it does have like an open back with a crisscross. Um, even for large, I do have a good bit of space and it's really comfortable. It's not gonna give me a ton of support, but that's not really what this is about. This is like a bralette. So this is just meant to be comfortable. And I think, I think it does the trick, you guys. I think it's really cute and um, it's on sale. So I think I might pick it up. Okay, this is definitely not showing up true to color and it's killing me, you guys. This is like the most fire neon coral bodysuit. I have no idea how to get this. Like, okay, that's kind of more true to color, but it's so good. Okay, I don't have a bra on, so ignore that. So this is a thong with a super high side bodysuit. There is a lining kind of from here to here to waist, and then it's unlined from the bottom, which is fine because it's like, gonna be like tucked into your jeans or your skirt. Hello, where has this been all my life? Like, I feel like I need some tape just to, you know, north of the girls up a little bit, but you guys, this is making me look so much tighter. 
I'm like deceased, deceased, deceased. So I also got this one. Again, it's oh, it's not bright on camera. Um, they're 30 bucks and I'm wearing a size extra large. Um, it's good, you guys. Okay, here is the neon green one. Again, just so good. I don't think there is a way I'm walking out without these. These are, they're just great. I think they're staples for me, especially because I do love neon so much. And I just love this with my shirt, with my jeans. I feel like I'm just gonna wear this forever and ever, amen. Okay, our last bodysuit. This one, <laughs> it's a little deep. So it's an extra large in the BP brand, and I find this one to be a lot looser and just not as great quality as these two. Like this fabric is a lot thicker, it's really nice, and this is just very like loosey goosey. Um, I'm not super crazy about it. But I wanted to show you guys because if you are looking at BP, like these are, these run pretty big. So if you're like a size, I feel like this could probably go up to a 20, but again, that plunge is really low and there's no adjusters on this. So this is just one of them schmexy clubbing bodysuits. So I'm going to pass on this one, but I did want to show it to you because I do think there's a ton of space in here for someone that is plus size. So definitely come check out the straight size section for bodysuits. Okay guys, this next piece is, is sale and I have been looking for a crop titty for a while. And this one is from Adidas. It's a large, but it's like cut really boxy. So it's really kind of adorable. I feel like this would be really good with my sweats, my Nike sweats, my black ones. I think that'd be really adorable. Um, so I really, I really do like this. I might, I might pick this guy up. I think it would be really nice and cozy for traveling and just for the fall in general. Um, but even then, if you're going to a movie, like this is just really nice to like throw on if you get a little cold and it's not too big and too long. What do you guys think? Okay, so this is the last piece. I just checked the time. I don't have time for accessories, unfortunately. So um, I found this little gray mini dress. This isn't in a size 2X straight size, obviously. <laughs> A very schmancy. I grabbed it in this pink. They only had an extra large and so as a result I'm not even gonna bother trying that on considering this 2x is just eeny beady teeny weeny. <laughs> it's just not gonna work for me. It is really cute. It does really good quality for sure. It's by the brand Leith. Um, this is how you spell it and I believe their stuff does come up to a 4x online so if we can find it we'll link it down below for you guys because um, if you like the style but you want like plus sizes we'll go ahead and link it because it is really cute um, and it has a really cool like ruching and wrap but this is it's just a little 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 too short for me so that is it we are wrapping up I'm gonna go buy some stuff and I'll see you guys back at the car no back at home to show you everything I picked up. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I am back home and I have my haul with me from the store and then I also have an online order that I placed. There's some extra goodies in here for you and by extra goodies, I mean extra fails. So, you know, you never know how these things are gonna turn out and uh, it was kind of interesting. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up in store first. So I'm sure this first item won't come as a surprise to you guys. Um, when I put it on, I was like, this is kind of what I'm looking for. I have been looking for a cropped hoodie for so long and this Adidas one just came in clutch. I really liked it, it's so simple. The white with the black goes with everything, the little um, trefoil on the front. It's just a really nice, like just little hooded sweatshirt. There's not much to it, but it's one of those basics I feel like I'm gonna reach for every time it's raining or chilly or if I put the AC down low enough and I want a cup of tea, I'll just throw this on. Um, this is just, yeah, I just, I just really liked it. So a lot of this stuff, I didn't get in the sale, but I think this was in the sale. So instead of 60 bucks, it was 45. Um, so I'm very, very happy with that purchase. The next thing I got, let me dig in my, let me take all this stuff out of the bag, make my, maybe make my life a little, e little easier. So the next thing I want to show you guys is actually a couple pairs of chonies that I picked up from the brand Chantel. They are these soft stretch, what are they called? Soft stretch high waist briefs. So I got these just to layer under thin dresses. Um, so sometimes you don't really need a shaving panty, but you need something that's like maybe a little higher rise just to give you a smoother look. So I got a pair, uh, two pairs of nude and then one pair in black. And they are sheer um, and they're really, really lightweight, super stretchy. They say they fit size one to four X and I have them on now. I have the other nude pair on now and I actually buy that. I think it's true. Um, and I really like these because I have some dresses. Um, you'll see in an upcoming Eloquy haul that 
One of them in particular is pink and is completely see-through. Um, and so I don't want a shapewear because it's a floaty dress, but I need something that is nude, lightweight, and will work under that dress and a bunch of other dresses like it. So this is something I could not pass up. I also got these on the sale. They are normally $20 each and I got them, I think they were 14 bucks. So good deal. This next one was not on the sale, but I mean, you guys remember my face when I tried on this neon coral bodysuit. <laughs> It was like, um, um, I had a moment. It was like a moment. I, I freaking loved it. I love this color. I haven't seen a bodysuit or have a bodysuit like this. I wear bodysuits all the time. Um, and I actually have a new skirt that I think is gonna be perfect with it. So I am so excited to have this in my bodysuit collection. Um, if you haven't seen my bodysuit styling video, you should really check it out. I'll link it down below. Um, it shows you 10 different ways to wear bodysuits from lounge all the way to corporate um, and everything in between. So I can see myself getting a lot of mileage out of something like this in the more casual side of that styling video. So super stoked to have this and this was 30 bucks. The next thing I got was mainly to irritate my best friend Lindsay. So um, so I bought the tube top, which she likes to call a sock. It was 10 bucks. It was not in the sales from Topshop. I got a size 12. Um, and it's just, I just, I'm gonna wear it over to her house while we have lunch. And I'm just gonna, it's just gonna drive her crazy because she said this isn't close. And I firmly believe that this is close. So $10 to irritate your friend, I feel like is a good way to spend 10 bucks. Okay, the next thing I got is that Champion Bralette. This was not on the sale, but it was on clearance. Originally $65. I would never have spent $65 on this ever, but I got it for 20 bucks. Um, and it's, yeah, that little Champion Bralette. Again, not a lot of support, but really great for travel, really great for lounge. So cute, really nice and lightweight, stretchy, very trendy brand. It's a nice way to like play with the trendy brands without like spending a ton. Champion's one of those brands that like is having this resurgence and I just don't get it because like don't they also sell it at Walmart for like 10 bucks or something? Like I, I don't really get the whole like Champion resurgence thing. However, I really did like this and I thought for 20 bucks for a bralette, that's not a bad deal. The last two things I got in store, actually the same item, and I got the long sleeve sheer black t-shirt that I tried on um, when I was up in contemporary with the snakeskin pants. Just the lightweight, soft fabric, I just couldn't get enough of. The stretch of it, it was absolutely fantastic. I did end up sizing down to an extra large instead of the 2X. Um, I can't remember if I included that in the video or not. Um, so this t-shirts originally 50 bucks and I got it for $32 and I loved it so much I actually also got it in purple. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Marseille and Marseille's colors tend to be like camel, white, purple, and black and so I feel like these are going to integrate into my new um, Marseille wardrobe in a really really easy fashion. So really pretty purple, nice plum color, and a nice black color. I clearly have fall on the brain, although like not completely. By the way, you guys have been asking me to do OOTDs. Um, I'm wearing a fashion to figure dress today. I'm not super thrilled with it, but I will link it below if you guys are interested. Um, so I kind of have fall on the brain, but like not completely. Okay, so let's move on to what I got online that I am really disappointed in. By the way, I hope you guys have a drink because obviously this has been a very long video. Um, and one of the things I mentioned in the when I was trying things on was that I didn't have time to go down to accessories. I will be linking some last minute shoes, purses, and jewelry down in the description box for any last minute shopping. The sale does end on August 5th, I think it is. So you do have the weekend. There's still a lot of great stuff left online. So be sure to check the description box if you're in the market for some new shoes, purses, or if you're just looking to see kind of what I picked and what I liked from the sale. Cause um, Vince Camuto is one of my favorite shoe brands and they are almost always, um, almost the entire line I think ends up in the sale at some point. So it's a really good deal. And um, if you haven't shopped the Nordstrom sale before, this sale in particular, like it, it is a sale in the sense that like when the sale is over, everything is full price again. So you really do want to like try and capitalize and pick up um, whatever you want this weekend. So, okay. What had happened was I have been getting a ton of requests for Madewell jeans reviews. Um, and I just haven't been like super keen. I don't know why, just, where I have a lot of denim and I have a denim haul coming very soon. So I just was like, I don't really know. But then I thought, you know, they were in the sale. I'm gonna pick some up. Um, and I did not like, okay, <sighs> this might be a thing. So first, the first thing I got, I wore with all the Madewell jeans. I got this Madewell tank in a size 2X. I don't like it. I don't like how low it comes down on the side. Um, and I, I just don't like the fit of it. I, I very, you'll, you'll see very quickly that Madewell is just not cut for my body, so. 
every like call my column babes my hourglass babes have at it um but for me with all of my blt and my waist there's just no way so this is going to get demoted to a jammy tank so i'm going to keep it but i'm gonna keep it for around the house i'll probably pair it with that champion bra um so let's move into denim now the denim is interesting i will say it is expensive so these retail anywhere i think 128 138 148 kind of in that price point so kind of good american a little bit less um, and here's the thing with this, this, the issue I have with the denim is all fit stuff for me. The denim quality is there. They feel real, like, especially this pair, which is the curvy high rise skinny. These feel very, they're a little stiffer than I personally would like, but they are nice, great quality. You do get a bit of stretch in them in these, not a ton, but a bit. I got everything in a size 22. That's kind of my safe size. When I'm trying a new brand, I always size up because I figure if I like them, I'll get them taken in. Or if I like them enough, I'll go and exchange if I need to size down. Um, and so these fit really, these ones in particular looked beautiful. They looked great in the front. They gave me a really nice smoothing effect in the tummy, fit my thighs really nicely, fit my calves really nicely, great length. But you'll see as I turn to the side, how the top of the jeans is just not cut for a body that tapers in at the top like mine does. So there's just so much extra space and so much extra fabric that is the problem with all of these jeans but I will take a few minutes to go through them because if you are not my body type if you are fuller on top than I am if you have a more balanced and proportioned body made well might actually really work well for you if you're looking for a very nice high quality denim I will say from an aesthetic standpoint the quality I mean sorry the style is there it's a very classic style um, you're just getting a really good solid pair of jeans that you can wear every day if you have the right body for them. So these, this first pair, this dark pair, great, great quality, nice color, uh, just terrible fit. This next pair is a more of a medium blue wash and I like, so I'm going in order of like which ones I liked, like comfort wise, most to least. So those ones were the least comfortable. These ones were kind of medium comfortable and they're also medium wash. And again, a really nice, gorgeous, classic style. Skinny jean, fits great, again, everywhere, but in the waist, these are the 10 inch high rise skinny from Madewell, a size 22. Um, they just don't work for me. They just don't work for me. And I really wish they do because honestly, they look really nice. And I think they, you know, the quality is definitely there and everywhere outside of the waist, the fit is there. And I am just, I have enough jeans that I'm just not interested in spending more money to have things tailored at this stage for denim. I have I'm just not in love with them enough to spend more money. So those will be going back. The last thing I have to show you is that last pair of Madewell jeans. These are the most comfortable in the lightest wash. And I do want to take a second to mention that because typically when you're buying denim, the darker, inkier blues are softer and they tend to get stiffer as you go up in color and then in black. I think it's how the denim is treated, honestly. So when these light ones ended up being my favorite as far as comfort goes, I was really surprised. Um, again, same waist problem, so I'm not going to go over that again, but I will show them to you because they are pretty lovely, especially if you're into a white kind of vintage wash wash or light vintage wash. You have a little bit of fraying here at the bottom, nothing too crazy. Still a really, really, really nice pair of jeans. They're just really soft. I really like these. And these are the, let me try and find, these are the stovepipe jeans um, and a 22. So a 22 is equivalent to a 37 on their site. They do do European sizing. So if you're 20, you'll want a size 36. If you're an 18, you'll want a 34. If you're 14, 12, and so on and so forth. They do go up to a size 24. So they do have a 38. Um, and again, I will totally recommend these if you have the body type for them, but they are just not for me. So sad, especially these ones because they are so comfortable on. Okay, guys, so that is it for me and this Nordstrom sale haul. I hope you enjoyed it. This Nordstrom sale haul in slash inside the dressing room kind of vloggy thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and you saw something that you like. Don't forget there was still a few days to shop the sale. Check out my recommendations down below. All this stuff will be listed and even more will be listed so you can shop, shop, shop and get all the deals. Prices do go up um, as soon as it's over. Don't forget that this video is not sponsored. I just want to let you know that if you're in the market for some stuff, now's kind of the time. Even CD Chic, which is one of my favorite um, brands, they do have some stuff in the Nordstrom sale, which I will link down below as well. So that is it for me. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I will see you on Monday with a brand new series.